It's a case low that weighs heavy for investigators. There were more than 60 homicides in San Antonio for the first half of the year and 25 of them still unsolved. Tonight we revisit the first deadly shooting of the year. It happened on January 1st at the 7-Eleven at I-10 and Callahan Road. The night team Sarah Acosta spoke with the victim's sister who was pleading for someone to come forward. It was in disbelief. Mary DeLuna says it was an awful way to ring in the new year. Her youngest brother, Timothy Collins, 42, was shot and killed while he was working at a 7-Eleven on the northwest side on January 1st. Police say a masked man walked in and tried to rob the store at gunpoint. Collins tried to stop the robber. Police say he was shot several times, ultimately dying at University Hospital. We went to go pick up his things at the store. I couldn't. I guess they tried their best to clean up, but I still saw his blood on the shelves. Collins was just the first of many homicide cases to follow for the first half of 2019. Take a look at this homicide map. The information was collected from the Bear County Sheriff's Office and the San Antonio Police Department from January 1st to June 30th of this year. The majority of those homicides pretty evenly dispersed across the city, with the exception of Alamo Heights and the Terrell Hills area. Not all of those homicides are closed cases. Timothy Collins isn't the only unsolved case from the first half of the year. According to the Bear County Sheriff's Office and SAPD, out of those 68 cases, 25 of them still don't have arrests or suspects. A Crime Stoppers report was released for Collins' case, offering a $15,000 reward for information that could lead to an arrest. As for Collins' sister, she is begging for anybody who has any information to speak up. These people, they're so worried about we don't want to snitch. We don't want to say anything. It's none of my concern, but somebody has to have a voice for my brother. If it was your family member, if it was, that was your brother, your father, your uncle, something, you would want somebody to speak up. Now, if you go to ksat.com, you can find that homicide map. You scroll down and you can click on it and enlarge it. Now, each of these markers, you can see the victim's name, whether or not there's a suspect arrested or at this time and the date that it happened. Now, if you have any information, not just on Timothy Collins, but any of these unsolved homicides, you are urged to call the SAPD homicide unit or the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Devin.